Good morning, Monday the 13th of February and we are in Ballyconnell uh, County Cavan and we've come to this church here Ballyconnell Parish Church and there's supposed to be famine graves in here and we're in the parish of Tom Regan so let's see if we can get a wee Jeff Duke in round here. We have to go, we have to negotiate the style here. I haven't seen a style like this now for a long time. <laughs> if I can squeeze through it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the Irish famine of course was uh, 1840s so I wonder where the famine graves are these graves here look quite quite old we'll see if we can get a date on some of them a lot of the famine graves wouldn't have had any uh, headstones I can't read that. Can't read that one either. Or that. Which is a pity. Ah, uh, let me read this. see a date. Oh dear. There's 1754. May May the sixteenth, eighteen o five. Wonder if there would be any sign up for the famine graves. So that's their seventeen eighty. Some quite old graves here. Seventeen seventeen eighty four by the looks of it there. Yep. This here that I'm looking at looks to be the oldest part of the graveyard and this is where I would imagine that the famine uh, victims would have been uh, laid, that green stretch there. 1814. This is quite, a, quite uh, well preserved. Eighteen oh five, eighteen twenty two, I think. Slopes away down towards the east stream at the bottom. And look at this, look at the snowdrops on that grave. And over here, that's brilliant. And this is the church, that's a interesting shape of church. Oh, 
and there's more, more snow drops. And normally they, there would be a date over the, the doorway, but and there's there's a, a window has been closed in. There's some old graves at, at the back here as well. Very much. That looks like a mall. That looks like a crypt. And more and more crew, um, snowdrops. Isn't that lovely? I'm afraid if I go down there I might be able to get back up again. Are there steps? I tip my hand out of my pocket, she says. These are old crypts. Oh my goodness. A deputy dog doesn't doesn't make us be in here. There's an inscription up at the top here. Nineteen eleven. There's quite a number of people in there. Bally Connell Parish Church. And we're not definitely sure that that was the famine. Grave, because they would all have been bunged in together. And this, these are the first crocuses that we've seen this year. Wonderful. I'd love to have got into this parish church building, but that's the way it goes. Oh wow! Look at this grave. And there's the skull, the skull and and uh, and the crossbones, and uh, the 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 salt cellar. You know, their time running out. And there's there's a, a coffin shape. Brilliant. These are very, very rare to come across. And this is 1738, by the looks of it. Oh wow, that is quite rare. To part of this life. I think it's 1738. 
And this uh, grave headstone uh, bears testament to the um, the emigration of Ulster people and Irish people to America. Uh, this was erected by Alfred Foster, Philadelphia, USA, in memory of his dear mother, Elizabeth Foster, who died in this uh, in this life at eighteen. 87, age 68. Happy Angels, bright, and for and for took our mother to their care. So there you go. Bolly Connell Parish Church. And this is the preaching schedule. For 2023, the promise of God and the muck of life. Uh, that's putting, putting things pretty bluntly. Maybe he's getting that sort of life throws up all sorts of, all manner of terrible things at us. Is that what he's getting at? I'm not too sure. I've never heard it, it expressed just uh, quite so succinctly. Because life is tough. Walking around any graveyard will tell you. Got this uh, metal post standing at the entrance of the graveyard here. It looks as if it's an old chimney. Is it an old chimney? I don't know. I didn't know about the alternative name to Ballyconnell. Paris Church, the Tom Regan Church Ballyconnell. It's named after this uh, quite uh, famous Tom Regan stone. And this is, this, is, this is fascinating. We didn't get to see this unfortunately because the church was closed. Um, and this is held within the Ballyconnell Parish Church. It's a figure, it says here, that it's a pre-medieval carved stone head with what appears to be arms and legs but no body. And this is understood to have come from the Tom Regan Round Tower, which is part of a destroyed monastery about three miles south of Ballyconnell. And unfortunately, we didn't get to that um, destroyed monastery. Didn't know about it. It is presently in the porch of the Tom Regan Church, Ballyconnell. And we would have loved to have seen this. But there you go. This is the best I can do for you. A wee, a wee picture. And uh, I'm just interested in this, this stone. Where did it come from? What uh, you know? What age is it? What what is the significance of it? You know, and, uh, legs, arms, head, but no body. Well, what's that all about? Helen's <laughs> just left me with a wee bit of a mystery. <laughs>